a lot of people have lots and lots of stuff stuck in their inbox and some people they don't mind that personally I like to do something called inbox zero inbox zero is when you try and have zero emails in your inbox now right now I've got nine in my inbox so I could get rid of a bunch of this stuff one way I can do it is by deleting things I don't need so for example um, let's say that I got this uh, email um, request for a meeting actually I want to keep that let's say I got an email request for um, to talk about this situation and I don't want it I can click delete and delete makes it go to the trash which will show up over here on my left pane under more there's my trash folder anything in the trash will stay there for 30 days after 30 days it's automatically deleted or I can get rid of all of my trash by clicking empty trash now that makes everything go away so all this stuff I really don't need I click empty trash now you sure you want to do this it's gonna affect 15 messages sure okay do it they're all gone empty trash can you delete when you have so much storage it's a good point because what Gmail is saying is deleting makes your stuff go away but you don't need to make it go away a lot of people like to keep their emails around so that they can refer back to them later so the other thing you can do with an email is you can do something called labeling it so we talked about labels before short version is let's say that I've got this email that I want to hang on to what I can do is I can create a label for it very simply and easily and once I create that label it's going to be applied to the message there it is I can take stuff out of my inbox by just either turning off this label clicking the X will make this inbox label go away and this will disappear from my inbox or my other option is I can grab it and drag it into that label it will it's now gone from my list so my Google info mail there it is I'm gonna set my label to show if unread only because if I want it I can always find it under more if I need to there it is so I can delete stuff that makes it go away forever I can label stuff that'll let me take it out of my inbox now the other thing you can do which is really valuable is called archiving archiving is super simple if you archive a message it basically means that it turns off the inbox label that's automatically applied to all your new mail it doesn't delete the message it just doesn't show up in your inbox list anymore so if I turn off this inbox label the message has been archived the other thing I can do is if I click on a message I can also click the archive button it does the exact same thing now if I want I can change my mind and undo that the message will come back but when you archive something it's not gone it still exists and Google as you know is known for its search it builds search right into Gmail so you can find stuff quickly and easily and there's a lot of different ways you can use search you can just type right in here that last thing that I deleted had the word word in it so any if I type word it'll find any emails I have with the word word in it so here's the one that I just archived and here's some other stuff that I got I can also there's also some advanced features built into the search bar so if you click on this drop down at the end of the search bar it actually gives you lots of options for searching you can search in every email you've ever gotten you can search in just your inbox you can search in certain areas you can search in whoops you can search in stuff that you've read stuff you haven't read check in my mail and my spam and my trash because inbox isn't going to have the stuff that I've thrown out or stuff that's gone to spam maybe somebody said they sent you something and you haven't seen it in your inbox you can search your mail and your spam and your trash maybe it accidentally got filtered someplace it shouldn't have you can search within a certain label that you've created so you can search in specific labels or you can search all the mail ever that you've got you can search from a specific person you can search to a specific person maybe it's you and that person you can search within a specific subject and the more of these boxes I filled in the more it's going to try to specifically filter down my results so if I don't want to include all that I can search by a specific subject word in the subject line I can search that it has the words angry in it someplace I can search 
for it doesn't have certain words within it. It's from a certain person and it doesn't have certain words in it. I can say, make sure it's also got an attachment. I can not include any chats. I can say within a certain number of days or weeks or months of a date. So I know that um, somebody sent me an email um, before the end of the last school year and it was within two weeks of the end of school, I know for a fact. This will narrow my search down to just that time frame. So if I was to search for stuff from a specific person within that time frame, it's gonna give me a very, very few results, which is really good when you're trying to find something. So it basically is creating a filter with your search and we'll look and see what it can find for you. So it's found 14 messages that may hit my requirements. Now it's found two results here. I wanna go back to my search options though because I don't wanna actually create a filter. I just wanna search my mail for that stuff. Now it turned off my date options here because this account wasn't open at that time so it wasn't, it won't be able to. If I do a search, it's gonna come back with zero results. Oh, yeah, zero results because it does not have any from that date. Notice that it's got these two, but they are, oh, they are within two weeks of my date. So it actually found some stuff that I sent to this email address, because I meant to say from, but I chose to instead. And within my two week time frame, there were two emails and I can check those out if I want to. So super handy if you archive stuff. It won't show up in your inbox, but it is available to you if you have any clue about any of the details. You can narrow down your search, find what you're looking for. So rather than deleting, you might wanna archive or you might wanna throw it into, uh, throw a label on it, take it out of your inbox. All right, I can label this one as Google Info and since I've already got a label set up called Google Info, as soon as I start to type it, it gives me that as an option or it asks me if I wanna create a new one. I'm gonna use the one that already exists. I'm gonna apply the label, there it is. Turn off the inbox, it is now in a label right there, there it is. So, labeling and filtering, keep your inbox clean, delete stuff, you can, but then it's gone forever within 30 days. Archiving, it lives forever, you just have to know some key way to find it. So lots of handy features you can use to keep track of your email and get your inbox down to inbox zero.